we can also use enhanced for loops to traverse arrays. And the header of the enhanced for loop includes a variable referred to as the enhanced for loop variable. So compared to this regular for loop, we can write the enhanced for loop using this enhanced for loop variable followed by a colon and the name of the array. We're here we have an array of numbers. And then when we want to access each number in that array, so for example, if we want to print them to the screen, we access them using this enhanced for loop variable. So effectively, this for loop prints each number to the screen, as we can see. So effectively, for each iteration of the enhanced for loop, the enhanced for loop variable is assigned a copy of an element without using its index. So let's try to assign a new value to the enhanced for loop variable. So what I'm going to do is set number to be 1. And then run this again. So while the value of this variable was changed, it doesn't change the value stored in the array. So for example, if I print out the first number in the array, which is the number at index 0, it still remains the same. And as we saw, program code written using an enhanced for loop to traverse and access the elements in the array can be written using an index for loop or while loop. So in this case, we rewrote a regular for loop as an enhanced for loop.